What a glorious day it is, isn't it? Isn't it wonderful? Hang on, let me make sure that there's nothing crazy behind me. Hang on. This is a real B and H customer story. Jack and Barbara, professional wildlife photographers, and B and H. No, there's not. Is this the normal stuff? What a what a glorious evening it is. I'm gonna have a kombucha, and no, they are not. It's not. I'm not spot. They're not sponsoring anything. This is something that I bought because I can drink kombucha again. Back when I thought that I had type of reticulitis, which I, I did I did have like on a colonoscopy it said that I had type of reticulitis. Um, Pog, you're damn right, Pog Champ. Um, yeah, I just took a bath. I'm all clean cut now. Um, well, I had a double hernia is what I had, but it was very difficult because anything like this would just like expand so now I can have kombucha again yay poggers you're damn right poggers well that this isn't very cold Katya is the fridge working is our refrigerator working This, this isn't very cold. I just put it in the fridge. Mm. Pog. Pog. Pog, baby. Um, yes, I am the president of the Bigfoot community, and I'm Bigfoot community president. And Pog champion. Pog, that's right, Pog. Poggers. Pog, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, you're probably uh, some people that are from Twitch. You know that I have a reputation on Twitch as being the oldest, like, maybe not the oldest gamer, but the, the gamer that's oldest that's real good. Pog. I'm a Pog champ. Pong. I'm a, I'm a champ at Pong. The game Pong? That's what I'm a champ at. Um, if you were an animal, what animal would you most likely... If you were an animal, what animal would you most likely want to mate with? What? The same the same what kind of question is that well how, how, how do you answer that you're not appropriate for this channel I don't think if, if I had a choice of being any other animal than a human it would be yeah I know right 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 B Davis if I had a choice of any other animal if I had a choice of um, it would be a um a wolf, of course. I'm sure some people know why that would be. I'm turning off this volume because my laptop, um, yeah, I just took a bath. I, I figured that I should because my lady took a bath and she's all spanking fresh and clean. I wanted to dial myself up for Katia, but I, I certainly didn't shave, but she doesn't have too much of a problem when it gets to like this length. It's like when you shave, and many of the um, ladies out there will know this, that like if your man shaves and then starts getting stubble, it's very uncomfortable. But once it's like this, like a, you know, I got the junior wolf boy look, it's fine. But I, I am gonna shave. I'm gonna shave it all off. Um, how do I, you're asking on a live stream how to correct a dog that's jumping on you. I don't, I'm not doing that right now. I'm gonna be showing Bigfoot feet, okay? Well, impressions of Bigfoot feet. And I have 5,000 videos and 3,500 are probably on dog training. So you could, you know, use the search bar on my channel and you could get an answer to that problem. I'm not gonna waste my time doing that, hang on. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hoggers. Um, that's another thing that since I got my hernia repaired that I can sneeze and cough without it hurting. God. I'd have live streams where I was, had to lay down and shit. Like, it was pretty rough. Um, you know, it was, it's pretty bad. No, I don't have corona. I mean, I could. 
You could. We all could. Sweetie, where what? Where was this? Did it, we have it out on the table or something? It was in the paper bag. Mm. I found it. It's it's still good, sort of warm. I might put it back though and get it all chilled down. Um, here in BC, there's been a wolf. Cur oh, a wolf call. Oh, they're killing wolves. I think it's screwed up. I I'm not gonna. You know, we have coyotes here. Uh, don't leave your dog in the yard. One. Um, you know, you leave your dog out all night and there's coyotes, something's going to happen. How old am I? I'm not as old as you think. I have Benjamin Button. It's a, it's a disease, so I sort of look old, but I am sort of looking younger, if you notice. So I'm not, I'm not that old. I'm, I'm looking younger every, every day. Look, do you see, do you see the wrinkles? They're going away. See, they're going away. What else could it be? Um, this is sort of slight, keeps sliding down. Yeah, it is. Um, that's, that's sort of a bummer, hang on. And, um, Katya has reverse Benjamin Button disease where she's looking a little bit older every day. So at some point we're just gonna meet in the middle. I'm not 69. I think I look 69. Are you serious? You think I look 69? I'm not even close to looking 69. Does that look 69 to you? Does it? Um, whipper snapper 35 yeah that's more in line ah oh, this is good this is this is real good um i am going to show you some um bigfoot impressions of the um the, the footle area and um it's important because I, I'm, I'm not showing you the ones that like normal, meaning the fake Bigfoot researchers would show you. What's up, Toxic? I'm going to show you ones where the Cornell method of extraction is used. So, it, in other words, when you see a, um, like, that Jeff dude or Bobo, they show you a footprint uh, my day's going pretty good, uh, Missy, uh, Sweet Bitter Sour, or whatever your name is. Um, you're, you're, seeing a po you're seeing a positive. I'm showing you a negative, meaning it's the actual footprint itself. They use a method where they take the whole footprint up, so it, it takes a lot of the, the material along with it. It's uh, in, in, you know, Bigfoot and Sasquatch research, Yeti research. This is, was a groundbreaking de development when this was invented. Now, I did not invent this, but I'm privy to how it works, and I can use this method, and it's called the Cornell Method of abstract Extraction. Not abstraction, that's something totally different. Um... Should I talk about this kombucha again? Because it's delicious. It's uh, sour, but sweet. I'm sure it is. Um, who's playing the guitar? That would be uh, the vampire princess Katya. She's off in the, um, she's off yonder here, about three feet away. Um, Okay, yeah, that's just ridiculous. Your friend told me that I'm HIV. Oh, my friend did? Yeah, yeah, listen, any of you moderators that see anything that is ridiculous like that, any type of um, backhanded compliments, uh, anything that, like, you know, come on. Like, what, what is that, an, a, a fucking sixth grader that's saying something like that? 
your friend told me that, you know, like, you know, is, is the eighth grader um, just giggling when they do that? Thank you, Toxic. I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Like, are they, oh, and then, ah, oh, that's funny. Like, do you, do you think that anybody that was watching this would, like, believe you? Nobody's gonna, I am a sixth grader. Well, you know, Thomas, you get, um, Thomas, you, you just got, um, hidden because you said that you were a child. So I, I take you for your word. And that's, that's how it works around here. You say that you're a kid, I believe you. So you can't be on the channel. Um, that, that's, that's, that's what we do here. We're not, we're not gonna have any time. Oh, hey, Shelly, how you doing? What, what, are you, what are you cooking, Shelly? You cooking anything good? I'm sure you are. You, you excited about your, your plum trees this spring? I'm excited about the pawpaw trees. Selling some houses. Sure you are. Um, well, well, thank you. I appreciate. I appreciate that, Shelly. Um, oh, hang on. Uh, Who would want to fight Bigfoot or Sam? Bigfoot, probably. Let's see her jamming. Come on, man! I'm I'm fucking gonna sh I'm gonna show you Bigfoot feet, and you want to see Katya jamming? My feelings are hurt. She's over there giggling with delight. It's ridiculous. Um. You know, do you live off the grid? I'm interested. No, I do not live off the grid. But we've talked about doing that putting solar panels up and I've been thinking about it for like the last three years, give or take. Um, I have it all pretty much figured out. I know how to do it. I mean, I know how to hook it all up and everything. Um, Bigfoot is very, well, I guess. Her newest video song is really awesome and inspired me to work on art today. That's good, Toxic. What did, what did you draw? Did, did you draw me and, Ta me and Katia's dogs again? Well, wait a minute. I was a dog and she was a cat or something? A panther. I can't, a panther. Um, I've seen a couple of, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos. Um, somebody said something about Skunk Ape. Oh, what's up, Riggy? Um, I, have a, I have a new video out, which you can see me as a young whippersnapper. I had to take some of it out because, um, you know, I beat up on my brother many times. Uh, one time I'm tripping this kid. Um, watercolor the other night because I literally... Oh, you watercolored because of us? We inspired you? That's cool. I got, I've been using watercolors lately. I like them. I used uh, some acrylic paint today on something. I can't tell you what it is. It's top secret. Pretty much. Um, but I, 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 I did. I bought some watercolors at, at Walmart. Like the tube kind. Not the kind that's in the little tray. I use either. I don't really care. Um, and some brushes. And I, I have been doing watercolors. I could show you one. You want, want me to show you a couple of the watercolors I did? I'll go. I'll go get them. They're real close. What's my opinion on cats? I own one. It's an animal. And it's a feline, and it's a carnivore, and should be on raw diet. What's up, Dragon Tail? Um, oh yeah, that yeah. It's it's. You see me as a young whipper. Yeah, same physique. When I'm five years old, I'm built the same way. I'm like, you could see the power. It's the truth. Katya noticed. She's like, oh, you look so adorable. Maybe those are my own words that I think she was saying. I think she was saying that she's nodding her head. And when she's watching it, she was smiling a lot. And I think that she was thinking about 
how tiny and adorable I was and I shouldn't be talking about this, but I'm going to anyway. No, I'm not going to, but you know what? I, I, I think I know what she was thinking. Like, wow, he was adorable as a baby. I bet he's got adorable DNA in him that would make him an, an adorable, an adorable baby. She's smiling a lot because I'm right. I'm right on the money. Let me, let me go get the uh, watercolors I've made lately. Um, how do you ward off a dog? Man, I need some advice. Um, do you like non-avian dinosaurs? Uh, what would that be? I don't know what that would be. Um, the dog man, there's not a lot you're gonna do. Hang on, let me go get my new watercolors. Now, I, I, have a, I have a bunch of watercolors here. Some are from a while ago, and some are real recent. And I will be having a show soon in Manhattan. I don't know the exact date. More than likely, it will be this fall. That's what I assume. Um, it's a new, well, it's an old gallery. I've already showed there, but the owners, um, there were two people that owned that gallery. They split. And um, so I'll, I'll be working with Frosh, of course, because I was working with her before. Um, so that's, you know, she said she could see me doing an installation in the gallery. We don't have a date. I would just assume that it would be uh, the opening of art season, which is September. So it'll be in Manhattan at the new place, which is in Chinatown close to the new museum. So, it, it's, it's nice. I don't, I don't know what I'm, I'm gonna do an installation, I'm sure she wants me to do animatronics and some, you know, an installation, and that's sort of what I'm known for, but it'd be nice if she had some smaller stuff that she could sell, because some of the larger stuff is like, you know, do you really want Trump, you know, and a sheep that's life-size in your house? So it has to be like a large collector. So it's nice to have some smaller stuff available for like, you know, a mid-range collector, you know, something not as expensive and not as obnoxious. So I, I have like watercolors that would be an example of something that she could just have in a stack or what, whatever, however she wants to deal with it. So I thought make some more watercolors so she has that option. Now one of the things that I would like to uh, show down there is a something I made of the USS Turtle. Now the USS Turtle is um, the first submarine and it was made during um, um, what, what, what year was that? 1770 1776 somewhere around there. It was the first um, it was the first submarine. So um, it, it was sort of usable, meaning it could go underwater, and they tried to use it to bore holes into one of the British ships, but um, the guy that was paddling, you know, it was like a, a sort of like pedal system, got lost, and the water was kind of rough. Um, so it wasn't really effective, and the guy almost didn't make it back to shore. So they, they scrapped that idea and just tried other methods to go after the British. But it was very inventive. You know, it was, so, it was submerged. It was submerged. Um, uh, you know, it was techno technologically, it was very advanced, but it's, you know, pretty scary going in it. So I like the idea of that. And I originally had thought, um, well, I'll make the USS Turtle and then I'll put it in the um, East River. So I was gonna make a working USS Turtle, like from the drawings that are left from 1776. Um, I, 
that, then I was just like, that, that's sort of ridiculous. Um, uh, it was very... Um, any, anybody that's a moderator, that's, you know, you see something that somebody's saying, do you think that slavery is like a, uh, a good way to boost the economy? You get rid of you get rid of that nonsense. That's racist stuff. So do me a favor. If you see anything like that, and any moderator that's on the channel right now, the the trolls are out a whole lot because of what happened. You know, he lost. So we don't have to go into that right now. But know that the trolls are out, and they're spreading disinformation and they're spreading hate. So if there's anybody on here that is a moderator, if any of the moderators hear this right now and you see anything like that, like this person that was just writing nonsense, you know, they're, they're talking nonsense. Just, just get rid of them. If I see them, I'll get rid of them too. I really, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm not gonna answer that question. That's improper. I have such idiots coming around my... Yeah, it, it all has to do with politics. Um, it's nonsense. They're crying because they lost. And you know what? They really don't care about, you know, democracy. They're, they want a dictator, which is real weird. Um, so th this would be a drawing that I did recently, a wa watercolor of the USS Turtle. Now, the USS Turtle that I made is sort of like this. It sort of looks like this. And no, don't worry about it, Toxic. It, it has an alien, and I have the alien over here that is doing this hand, hand crank thing and powers it. So um, so I was just doing a mock-up of this, and it goes on a sled like this. Um, this is one of the drawings that I did recently. Here, here's another drawing of something that um, that I saw recently in the in the backyard. And I, we, we, we almost had it on video today, but we didn't. And I don't even like to talk about it because Katya thinks that I had this crush on the watermelon-headed woman. Just because I said, yeah, she's got a real hot bod. I also, I also said, your, your, your bod is so much hotter than hers, and you don't have a watermelon for a head. I've just said that the watermelon-headed woman, it's an alien or something, some kind of cryptid, has a very nice physique. It's noticeable. The first time I noticed it, they grow real fast. So the first time I saw it was a kid and then it grew up. And then, you know, the next thing I know, she's like, you know, sitting on this burn can kind of presenting herself. And I just went up and looked sort of close. That's all I did. Honey, all I did was look. I looked and it was, like, you know, very finely manicured biscuit. That's... I, I looked, I admit it, I looked, but there was no attraction. It was just like, I was curious. I was, it's an alien, a female alien. I think most people, and it was like sort of presenting itself. What, am I not gonna look? I looked. She's ignoring me now. So, I have no interest in the watermelon-headed woman. But we, neighbors have seen it. It's all around this area. We saw it. Didn't have the camera with us, but we saw it. Them, she's hanging around with the watermelon-headed male who is, uh, I don't know, a teenager or something. I don't know, he's young, he's not very big. Sort of wiry. It's like a sort of scrawny looking watermelon-headed creature, but it's male. And um, so that this is a drawing of that. And so uh, we saw the barn door open. We were up in Sam's room. The barn door opened and she, she walked out. And that's sort of how she looks. It looks like she's wearing like saddle shoes or something. They look like saddle shoes. It's sort of like a, like a grayish short skirt. Something, something like, do you have a girlfriend or is a part of an inside joke? Get lost, Dick. Some, it, it, get lost. What do you, what do you think? So, um, so we, 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 we saw her, right? She came out. She had a big watermelon head. And then 
after the door closed, the door starts opening. Then the male water headed, watermelon headed, uh, scrawny dude. He's real scrawny looking, wearing black pants and a white shirt. And looks like he had suspenders on or something and boots. Looks like boots, man. It looks like sort of like human clothes. I mean, seriously, they look like saddle shoes. But on the same hand, uh, the watermelons look like watermelon, sort of. But I don't really know if it's a watermelon or it's just their head. So, uh, so I, I drew this. But you, you can see a spaceship back here. <clears throat> I didn't really see a spaceship. I just put that in. And the dog man was not in the hayloft window. Um, I just put that in, but the, the watermelon, the, they look like this, sort of, so, here, here's, here's an installation that I drew, I think I've showed these before, it's, it's an installation where, um, you know, Gilligan from Gilligan's Island is on a, like, bicycle that looks like, you know, it would be on the island, like it's made out of wood or something, and then it's like, it's, it's pedaling it, it's animatronic and pedals this. And then this is like powering this like compressor. And then these are, um, it's like a generator and compressor. And these are um, like electrical slip rings. They're like large kind of lazy Susans with an electrical slip ring so that animatronics can run on the top while it spins 360 degrees. So it's, it's a sketch for a three-dimensional piece, but uh, if my dealer wanted to sell it, she could sell it. This I made years ago, and I, I really don't know what, what it's in regards to. It had to do something with, I don't know, military, getting out of prison to do something. I don't know. I can't remember. I just, probably from the news. Here, here, here's a paint, here's, here's a sketch for another piece that's Bigfoot, that's pimping Bigfoot, holding an alien. And once again, that th this would be 360 degree turn, turns on this like sort of uh, tabletop. It has an electrical slip ring so that everything can be run. You know, like that. This is a shirt you could buy on Teespring too. Um, here's something, I, I'm not a big fan of the clan, sorry. Um, and this was in regards to, I don't know, you can see this Bigfoot, you know, going after a clan member. Um, there's an alien, he's all right. Um, there's a priest. Not a fan. Um, here would be another one of the USS Turtle. Now this is a sculpture that, that is already built, it's taken apart and it is in my in my, um, in the barn. And it, 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 look, it looks pretty much like this. But th this was the pro, this is what I drew before I actually made the thing. That's George Washington, of course. Washington. And um, originally I was gonna have a robot that was gonna power it, but it ended up not being a robot. It's a, uh, it ended up being an alien. And really, well, what's the difference when you think about it? Think about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, what's that? What's that show? Um, Mango, you're fine. Um, you know the whole theory about age, ancient aliens and all that BS. Might not be BS. I mean, think about it. I, I was just talking about this with Katya earlier. Like. In a hundred years, we invented the car, went to the moon, we have com computer machines and telephones that, that do this. It's pretty amazing. Oh, Peggy. Um, here, here's, here's another sketch for an installation I'm gonna do. I won't be able to do that in this gallery in the fall. But it's uh, essentially Washington crossing the Delaware. I have a couple boats in my um, barn, and 
you know, there's an airboat, there's, you know, it's going to be sort of like this non-traditional thing, but it was, that was going to be the theme. I'd still make it, like, if the Whitney called me. If the Whitney by Anion would hurry up and fucking call me before I die, I might, I would do this installation for them. But if they're not going to call me, I'm not going to do it, now am I? Rude. Rude. Oh, this would be another installation I was thinking about doing. It has to do with uh, Grant Wood, um, American Gothic, that painting. And, uh, you know, instead, you know, the, the guy in the painting, like, he's getting a knobber there. I thought that that seemed sort of appropriate. Th th this was a transformation. Th this was something that, that I drew, and then it ended up being, like, a piece in my one show, um, the old man and the sheep where Donald Trump not a, it's not it's not a boy scout on the sheep it was Donald Trump so that that totally changed um, you know but the, once again this would be an installation where there's wood paneling like this I was sort of doing that in here on this wall like making it look like a barn reoccurring themes in my life um, this is a actual uh this this was the uss turtle when i was thinking about well i'm gonna make it and i'm actually gonna be in it and dump it into the east river and um i i decided not to do that that it wouldn't be that safe so um no oh, thank you uh patricia smith i appreciate that that's very nice so but th this was the, the the sketch that i was doing and see, the, the, there's transformations when I'm like doing something. Like um, I might get a, an idea. This was the idea, but it went into just I'm not getting in it. It's not going to be a contraption. It's not safe. Um, I'm just going to make it for an installation, and it's an animatronic thing that goes in a gallery or a museum. So, so see that that would be me in there peddling it. That was the original idea, but. I don't want to die. Once again, the USS Turtle. This was just like a sketch, just sort of working it out, thinking about it. You see the red coats on the boat. Um, it, it, it really was like a, uh, a marvel of engineering for its time. Bigfoot, I'll show you the Bigfoot feet. I'm showing you my uh, fascinating drawings right now. Here's a drawing that Katya did to uh, get me whipped. And uh, this would be one of the things that sort of like got me whipped real quick. Quicker than anybody. I fell in love with her before we actually physically met. Um, so th this would be a drawing that she sent me. And stuff on the back. Notice how she um, notice, notice how she she fills up like most of the page. Like it's all it's all filled up. Sort of like an insane person would do. She's not in her head. Um, it's real nice. I like it a lot. Oh, here's something else that Katya sent me. So once again, get me whipped. This is one of the things. She did some voodoo too, I think. I know she did, because she admitted to it. It worked. Um, this is a, a screenplay that she wrote. She sent me a page of the screenplay. And, um, Here's a poem. I'm not gonna read this to you all because it's it's personal. She says how much she loves me. Oh, thank you, Patricia Smith. I really appreciate it. And how, no, she doesn't, she doesn't say that in this. Uh, she does say, hey, you, me, someday, soon. Oh, she says something else. That was good. Thanks, Wendy. Um, here is a, um, 
thing that I've been working on for years, and that's a gravity generator. This is a part to a gravity generator that I don't have the money to produce this thing. Um, this is only one section of it. Um, it, in, it, it involves a vacuum tube. I need a really strong magnet, a slip ring. Um, I need a, a copper drum that's rotating, and um, I need two slip rings, actually. I, I need money to build stuff like that, and I don't, I don't have the money to build them. Like so it's not going to get built unless somebody knows Elon Musk. He wants to send me some millions to get going on it. Elon. I don't care if you smoke weed, dude. What do I care? It's none of my business. I've got no problem with your weed habits, Elon. Um, this would be a piece where um, it, it was going to be like gerbil wheels in there, and then they were going to be powering lights and um, you know, uh, like a, a a 12 volt battery. Um, these are some condensers here and um, a PC board, a 12 volt die hard. I was very specific that it had to be a die hard battery. Hamster roots make it look like uh, it's powering the show, right? So it would power something, but it, it wouldn't really be enough power to actually power the whole show. That's why it's called a hamster ruse. It's not really gonna work would work. Um, will you ever sell prints of your work? I already do on Teespring. Oh, you mean sign prints? Um, trying to set that up on the on a website. Yeah. Um, this is an, another one. That those are. Um, this is a, a joint for an installation. That's Bigfoot and Alien. That's a um, a, uh, a leprechaun and a. Um, That's a uh, crack whore, I believe. Leprechaun, pimp, and shrimp. Bigfoot, pimp, and alien. Got my money. Spot on. I don't know. It's nonsense. I don't know what, what I was thinking when I did it. It was a long time ago. This music is very soothing. Um, this would be another one. Um, this would be an installation, it would be a drawing for an installation. I believe that this has to do with, um, these are run by air pistons, evidently. Um, it's about a cop at finding a, um, like a fetus on the ground. And I think that that was a true story and it was a prostitute and she denied it or something. I was gonna redo this for a gallery if I could find somebody to do it. Sometimes I make things that calories won't show, believe it or not. That's happened several times. I have this, um, nah, it's not worth talking about. I got an electrical slip ring piece in there that nobody will show. I don't know why. It's about life. Um, this is actually an electrical slip ring piece where it rotates around. And, um, okay, there's kids in the tree, so that's Adam and Eve, and then there's kids up on the tree, and one of them's taking a dump. Is it from the 50s? Like, they're dressed like from the 50s. But that's Adam and Eve, and then that whole thing would spin around, too. Once again, an electrical slip ring. Um, oh. Here's an electrical slip ring piece, which is an NYPD cop, an electrical slip ring piece. That's uh, donuts, and he's sort of having like sex with the, um, the shopping cart full of donuts. But at uh, 360, 360 degrees, it turns. And because it's electrical slip ring, uh, everything on top is motorized. And then there's another one off to the side, which, um, uh, pig beating a homeless brown woman. 
because that happens a lot. And I probably made this back in. I don't know. 2000 or something. I don't know. Um. Uh, th th this is one that I probably did about um, when Abner Loema, this was, Abner Loema was this cat that was a gay dude that um, the cops went into this like uh, gay bar, busted the gay bar, and then like took this one dude back to the police station and sexually abused him with a, um, it's a horrible story. But anyway, that that's what this is about. I, I, I always thought that it was like unbelievable that, um, you know, it's like, they had a problem with him because he's gay, right? Why would anybody have a problem with that? Who cares? And so they had a problem with it, so they abused him in the most sort of um, uh, homophobic, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, they, they abused him sexually with a... With a they ain't that straight, you know what I'm saying? Bad, bad news. A lot of, a lot of bad cops have been around. Uh, black lives do matter and black people have been, you know. I lived in New York. You, you, just, had, you just had to look different, that's it. The, the way I dress like a, like a, you know, dirty artist, they were pulling me over constantly. Horrible, horrible. This is true. I'd say it to friends of mine that were female and they go, I, they go like, well, so what? Like they pull you over and they search your pockets. You don't have anything. That's not the point. It happens all the time. Does it happen to you? No, but if it did, I wouldn't be making a big deal out of it, Peter. That's what they said. Yeah, because you're like an attractive woman and it would never happen to you. If it happens to you on a monthly basis, you tend to be resentful. I like my privacy. There's no reason in you going in my pockets, officer. It sucks. It sucks. It does. So they, they just, it isn't, you know. Yes, mostly brown people, um, black people, but they will just harass anybody that they deem looks, you know, not not good, that's not their job. We're paying their taxes, you know? Yeah, we're paying their taxes. What are they, what are they doing that for? Looking for weed or whatever, they're on a fishing expedition. Yeah, brown people, dude, brown people. You never heard of that? Maybe that person needs to go. You know, in anybody with darker skin? Yeah. You can confirm, yeah, confirm, yeah, it sucks, right? It's bullshit. I got to the point, this is the truth. I'd, I'd, I'd be in my car, and I, if, if I saw lights behind me or sirens or something, man, I would be, my heart just starts beating. Not so much anymore up here, because it's different up here, but in the city, man, I was just like, Oh, fuck, man, I'd have, like, PTSD. It was horrible. Um, once again, an electrical slip ring. Uh, cops with donuts. I probably did that in 2000. Rotate, and then animatronics. And once again, it was a rehashing the idea of the donuts in the shopping cart, and the cop is, you know, attracted to. Oh, um, this is one about honor killings. Uh, you know, that that's happened many times. I think you can get the gist of that. Some societies are real rough on, um, just because you're a chick or, um, you know, whatever. That, you know, some countries you wouldn't want to be gay in. It's ridiculous. It is. It's ridiculous. Let people be people. I don't care what anybody is. You can be whatever you want. 
It's none of my business. Are you an adult? Do whatever you want. I don't care. Um, here's another one of the USS Turtle. Uh, still, I'm, I was still drawing it as a robot there. Um, I, you know, I, li I like this one. I like this, this drawing here. Um, but I'm still trying to work it out. Um, I, this is similar to one of the, how I viewed it as an installational piece. But, um, you know, what's my favorite story? I don't know, I don't have a favorite story. I don't know, do you have a favorite story? Um, here's another one, another installation. This, this would be in a gallery. Those are animatronic, um, I believe the cops go up and down, like up and then down, hiding in the can and the 55 gallon drums. And then a, um, um, one cups per, per year for what? Uh, toilet paper? They need a lot. You know, it's just a fact. They need a lot. Um, and then there's a, like a train track, and instead of a train on it, it's uh, a rat. Rats go around it. And that's it. That those are those are all the drawings I have for now. Now I will I will show you all the Bigfoot feet because I said that I would. I'm a man of my word. I promised you all. Besides, you have Katy off here to the side, just jamming away. Listen to her. She's playing Funky Town earlier or something, something like that. Katy is like, um, she, she, got, she got the guitar not too long ago, right? And um, I've seen the other day, like, she's gotten really good at it. Like, there's been like this, like, but she already, you know. It's like, if I got a guitar, and start playing it. By this time next year, I'd still sound lousy, but she can already play, um, uh, let's see, the flute, um, the recorder, the sax, alto sax, I believe. She says that she can kind of play the piano, so that means she can play the piano. You know, anytime. Anybody says, well, I can kind of play it. That means that they can play it, and they're pretty good. Um, I'm sure that there's other instruments that she can kind of play, meaning she can play them, but she doesn't feel as proficient as, like, on the flute or the sax. Drum set. Drum set, see? She can play the drums. Really poorly. Really poorly, right? Yeah, I bet. I bet, I bet you're really bad at them. You know, can you play the bongos? Not really. That means she can. I've run into this before with other people that are musicians. Um, and her especially, I, you know, if she says I can kind of play it, that means she can play it. She can sing. Um, no, I don't want to hear a knock-knock joke, dude. Uh, you can play the bongos. Um, I, ca I can't really play anything, but I, I do sing really well. I have a great voice. I think it, some people on this channel know that. I'm really, um, I'm very talented with my voice. And I'm a real good dancer. Now you, you, will see, you will see that if you watch the movie that I just put out tonight. Um... What's the matter, Banshee, you all right? Uh, that you'll see me even when I was a kid, that I was a great dancer. Sing for us. I, I don't really want to sing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, in a minute, I'm gonna pick up the Bigfoot beat. And, um, oh, A-S-M-R with Peter. I can't dance. I can't, I'm a great dancer. Oh, there's Anna S. I haven't seen you forever. I love you. Look at that dragon. There's the pigeon lady. Peter, your dancing skills in your documentary. Yeah, right? Wasn't I a good dancer? It's pretty amazing. There was some stuff that I had to cut out of there because I guess beaten up on my older brother. I go against community guidelines, which is ridiculous. Um, 
please sing. I don't really, I don't really have anything to sing. I mean, if I, I, I really don't. I can't think of anything. Oh yeah, this needs to be cold. I'm gonna put it back in the fridge. I'm gonna put a lid on it. Um, I need to watch some of my family videos from when I was little. Make sure that they're, uh, you know, you got copies of everything, because I had the only copy of that on, on that, that thing I put out today, and it was on, I had the only DVD that was left. My brothers didn't have any, my, my dad passed away, his wife passed away. God only knows where the Super 8s are, I think that they're gone. So there was one DVD and it was damaged, and then I bought this thing, the Skip Doctor or something like that. I was like, well, I have, I have nothing to lose, and this, you know, see if I can get something off of it, and it worked. So this is sort of like a review of Skip Doctor. If you have a DVD and you need to get stuff off of there, read the directions. I did, where usually I do not read the directions. I just, um, you know, I'm just open it up and just start doing whatever. This time it was so important because it was the only, you know, there was the only DVD with that that information, so I was just like, well, I'll read the directions and do it, and it worked. I was like, wow. So I'm really happy about it. Yep, my number is on all my video description. My number. Well, you, you put number on your, your phone number on your video descriptions? What? To, um, to, for readings? Is that, is that true? Dragon, is that true? My favorite part of the documentary was helping baby John open his Christmas present. So sweet, made me tear up. Oh, please. It was adorable, wasn't it? Can you sketch my question, Peter? Um, yeah, I could. Um, Dragon, what are you talking about? Oh, really? No shit. So if somebody wants a reading, they could go to your video and then they, they can call you? Don't they have to book a time or something? Dragon? If anyone spams me, I just block them, sure. I see. So, so you don't worry about that, having it out like that, because it's worth it. Uh, do you get a lot of business doing it that way? I mean, Facebook says, you know, you could, you could put your number on there and stuff, like, uh, you know, I usually, they usually text or email me. I see. And then do you talk to, you talk to them on the phone? When you're doing the reading, do, do you have to talk to them? What's a reading cost? Do you mind me asking? I'm just curious. Did you cook today? Katya did. She made some um, goulash that was real good. We had uh, a salad earlier, um, and we were at Walmart and bought these sort of, um, you know, like, I definitely, I don't do Facebook, so when people want a book, book a reading, we set it up to do a video chat. I see. Um, yes. Um, uh, so, so we were at Walmart and, um, we bought cauliflower, like, like hot wings, but they're not wings. It's just cauliflower and like hot wings, but they're not wings. They're made out of cauliflower and they were pretty good. And I, do I have my only fans? No, I don't have that. Come on. So, um, I think I can make that stuff actually. Oh, it's sliding scale, 85 to 125 for a session that lasts up to two hours. That seems very reasonable. Definitely. I saw cauliflower pizza crust at Walmart. They, they do. I've had cauliflower, rice cauliflower. I've had that. And I also had a product that was like spaghetti made out of cauliflower. Um, I think. But what I'm thinking is I can do the same thing by uh, frying cauliflower right? And then, um, you know, just putting it in a hot wing sauce. I let people choose most affordable price range. 
I see. Oh, hang on. Don't do that. I already told you I don't have a fans only. What is the tallest Bigfoot you have seen? About 14 foot. Um, about, about 14 foot. Something like that. It's real big. What are you looking at, Katya? Stacy on it, Solar. Solarton. Oh, I'll sing you a song. Solarton. That's the Solarton song. You can see my, listen to my voice. It's the voice of a baby angel. Solarton. Will I marry you? No, I won't marry you. Is that a message to Katya? Why would you want to marry me? Look at me. Um, Solar Tin, I walk like Bigfoot. You wish you walked like Bigfoot. You walk more like Littlefoot, don't you? Hey, bruh. How do you find Bigfoot? Well, you don't, you don't find it by watching that stupid show with Bobo in it. You don't. You go out in the woods and you look for it, and you don't you don't go out there with pancakes. Don't listen to Bobo, okay? That's a bunch of BS. Oh, that's my Granny Goose song. The only other song Peter knows. No, I know a lot of songs. Go tell Aunt Grody. Um, I see England. I see France. I see someone's underpants. Come on. Only fans for Peter. No, I'm not doing it. Um, did you hit? Did you see any other creatures like Dogman lately? No, the watermelon-headed people we saw. That's it. Um, uh, no, br bro, bruh. Is it bro or bruh? A boy. Which one is it? Somebody, somebody said today that I should do the the Ted, Ted and Vision interview. That's fucking years old that he wanted me to do that. Like, do people ever look at dates of videos? He don't want me to do that crap, man. I don't really want to do it either. Um, but the people don't look at dates, man. They just think that, like, it's still, like, this ongoing thing or something. Do you look for Bigfoot or just Bigfoot finds me? Only fans is mostly a not all a porn. It's, uh, only fans is, is like, it's porn stuff, right? Isn't it? That's like for, people say that stuff just time them out. It's ridiculous, come on. I'm not doing that. It's porn, thank you, Toxic. You're a good Christian girl, you would know. Yeah, it's bullshit. I'm not doing it. Why would I do that? I did work in the industry years ago, though. And I was not a fluffer. Okay? So it's exclusive content for a monthly fee. I know that, man. N N Nessa has something like that. She's a content. It's something like that. She does content um, on a site like that. I, d I don't really know if it's considered porn. Um, like, Nessus could be considered art, I think. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've seen some of her videos. They're artistically done. They're erotic, but, you know, it's like, where do you draw the line? You know, I mean, not everything because somebody's naked has to be porn. Do, do you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, there's erotic art, you know. I'd subscribe to Purdy. Um, what did Pigeon Lady just say? Does she have a fans only? Erotic art, but not straight up porn. Yeah, I would say that too. About Nessa, yeah. I should I make one? Ha ha. Where do you think the most abundant amount of Bigfoot art? In this area, definitely. Coon Hollow? Have you ever heard of Coon Hollow? Um, uh, is Katya working on a new song or just jamming? I don't know. She's just over there jamming. Oh, hey, Pachinko, what's up? No, I was not a fluffer. I was a... Come on, man. I wasn't She's playing a our love song. She's playing our love song. I was not a fluffer, okay? I was... 
talent. You can look it up. I had a, I had a few names. Um, Johnny Nogahide, Buck Naked. Um, you know, a few names. Millimeter Peter. Um, as a headliner. I was in big demand back there in the, in the 70s. No, seriously, it's the Bigfoot thing. No, Bigfoot's real, man. This Bigfoot stuff. Here, okay. Do you have a... I have more than a pick of Bigfoot. Okay, here we go. So, um, you know, you, you, you'll see a lot of uh, Bigfoot researchers are BSers, right? Uh, a lot of Bigfoot researchers are showing you BS, and I'm not doing that. I'm showing you, I'm giving you real, live Bigfoot information that everybody needs to see because Bigfoot is real. Now, this is a, this is a Bigfoot print. It's an impression, but it's an impression. If you notice, it's not a positive, it's a negative. This was taken using the Bigfoot, or the Cornell method of extraction, where you take, they take, you take the whole print out of the ground. So it's taken out of the ground. Now this is proprietary information about how this is done. And I'm one of the few Bigfoot researchers that knows how this is done and how to do it. This is a fact. So you see other Bigfoot researchers, they don't, they don't have the technology or the information that, that I have. I have the information, every, everybody should, anybody that's into Bigfoot should be subscribing to my channel because I have stuff like this. Now, this Bigfoot here is not a huge Bigfoot, but it is a Bigfoot and it'll probably be approximately 850 pounds. Okay, this is a very large animal, approximately nine feet tall. You can tell by the footprint, this is more than likely a male. It's a, it's a very, very big, big creature. I mean, look at the size difference with my hand. Look at, look at, look at the girth of the foot. It's, it's huge. Now I have, I have other examples of this. I have another one down here. And remember this, this, this is made with the Cornell method of extraction. This was invented by Dr. Dirk Johnstonson. And um, I, I know how it's done and I know how to do it. Why? Because I'm the president of the, the Bigfoot community and I'm also Bigfoot community president. And there are, there are people that think that I'm BSing, that like, oh, he's just joking around or something. I don't, I don't joke around about everything. Everything is not a joke, okay? It isn't. And I, I'm not joking around about Bigfoot because Bigfoot is real. Bigfoot is real. You know, if I was always, um, sometimes, we, you know, um, you know, we're, we're doing something on Bigfoot or something that seems lighthearted, or it might even have a little comedy to it. That's for a reason, because we're, we're trying to get, you know, the Bigfoot information out there. So we're, we're trying to rope people in and, and make sure that they're interested, make sure that it's not all dry. And um, we, we want people to be entertained and learn at the same time about, uh, you're never gonna be a moderator, okay? You're never gonna be a moderator. Um, so that, 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 is, that is why we're doing it. And if somebody's watching this later, this is a live stream and somebody wants to be a moderator and you can't just be a moderator. You can't, you just, you just gotta get, just gotta get hidden forever. Um, so I, I can show you another example of a, uh, an impression that was used, um, was made with the uh, Cornell method of extraction. And that would be this one here. Now this is, this is a smaller foot. This is a smaller foot and it's probably about a 650 pound beast creature. It, it, it's done the same way the Cornell method of extraction, where you, the, the advantage is this, is when you use, when, when this is used, 
You can take up all kinds of information, including, you know, there's hair in here. There's, there's all kinds of um, bits and pieces of important stuff. There's stuff in this, and it, it's exactly how it would be looking if you were walking in the woods and came across it. I, these footprints, these, these were done, one of, one of them is on loan from Cornell and the other one is one that I took from the area. That's just, that's just how it is. That, 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 that's, that's how a proper impression is taken nowadays. So when you, when you see these, these wannabes, and that's what I call them, the, the, wanna, the Bigfoot wannabes, you know, that they're showing you some plaster cast, like, oh, I found this wherever, where the Patterson film, oh, please, spare me. They, they don't have the technology that I have. I have the technology, I, you know, I'm, I'm keyed in to all the actual important people doing researchers, research, and it isn't Bobo, pancake-eating Bobo. That guy's BSing ya. And those other people on, what is it, Finding Bigfoot or whatever that is. Those people, New York State. I, I'm in the Bigfoot hotspot right now. I live in the New, New York State in the Finger Lakes, and it's a hotspot for Bigfoot, Sasquatch. There's a lot of UFO activity in this area. How's, how's Sam? Sam's doing good. He's doing real good. I'll probably do a video of Sam coming up soon probably more than likely love Sammy Sammy's great nobody's asking about Remy nobody nobody wants to know how Rem's doing Rem's doing pretty good she is uh, one million in cash would you be a fluffer for no you should be in jail um, I saw a UFO in Vegas a few years ago. I saw one in the back here about four years ago. It'll change your life, right? I saw an orb. It was an orb type UFO. And it was just sort of like moving across the sky about 500 feet away. That was the closest it was. And when I was looking at it, I'm like, is that, am I seeing something from another world? Chaga's up there. She's on the steps probably right now with Remy. It was so weird, and it had lights that like went up it, like all around it. It was, it was red. It was red, but it also like um, had sort of whitish lights that went all around it, like that. It was at, like 25 mile an hour winds, but it was going. It was being affected by the um, by the wind, and there's no prop wash whatsoever. You know, I, 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 rem I remember I went back to Brooklyn like the next day and I was flipped out the whole time. I was down in Brooklyn for about a month and a half. And then when I came back here, I was totally flipped out. Like, uh, like you saw two orbs, green and blue, circling around each other as they drifted across the sky pretty low. That's the thing with what I saw was like the movement. I was like, there's no way this thing is made by humans. It was so uh, drifted is sort of like how, how this thing appeared. No prop wash, no sound and a consistent speed. And I remember I, uh, I was in the back and then as it, as it went across my neighbor's backyard, I said, I heard a car door slam and it was one of my neighbors. It was one of the, a kid, about 60. I said, do you see this? He said, yeah, the red thing. And I said, yeah, you see it? He goes, yeah. If he wanted to see it, I would have thought that I was going crazy. So that it went, it went around the, the back and uh, by a tree and then through the other neighbor's yard and out in front. And I went around front and then I watched it uh, float off towards Watkins Glen. You know, and it was weird because I, I should have jumped in the car, but for some reason I didn't. I don't know why I didn't chase the damn thing. 
It was weird. Katya's here. She's just sitting off in, the, in a distance. She's just sitting there. She put her guitar away. Uh, I, I saw what looked like a weird, weird star, but the closer you looked, it was too... It was just... I don't know. I, I, don't, I still, like, I, I, I know what I saw. I know it wasn't built by humans. And it was... Uh, here's Katya. Baby, you want to sit down? Okay. Look, it's 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 Katya. Um, it was it was the weirdest shit I've ever seen. It, it was it was very weird. And it was it was totally real. Are you, are you on there? Yeah. Okay. Um. Did you know? I to be perfectly honest, for years. I would say that I thought the people that saw UFOs, like there was an explanation, or um, it was like a narcissist, you know, like uh, I saw something you didn't see. Um, that, that was my belief until about 10 years ago, and then I saw, the first thing that I saw was like uh, goose hunting, and those were like silver orbs, and they were real high up, like where a like an aircraft, like a, like a 747 would be, um, meaning so these orbs would have been gigantic. Um, no, it wasn't a weather balloon. Please. You know, one time I saw something on this past year, on the summer solstice, June 21st, the longest day of the year, I was sitting out on the porch at my dad's and we look at the clouds and we were both like, that says Zion, the clouds. What? Like, they literally, it was like Z-I-O-N. Come on. Seriously. It's so like a religious thing, isn't it? Zion, I mean, Bob Marley sang about it, Zion train, you know? And were you all partaking in, um, well, I don't recommend anybody does that, but I mean, like, were you all... Uh, you know, taking a hit of a marijuana cigarette, perhaps? Don't say if you were. Would that take away from the experience? I don't see what you're getting at. I don't know. I was just asking a question. Would the experience be more or less believable? I believe you. I believe you. Believe you. Me. Yeah. Well, the, cl the clouds were uh, writing out Zion. Zion. Yeah. The Zion train. Maybe that was the message, you know, that you're on the Zion train. That's sort of like a piece of toast that looks like Jesus. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm not right. making I'm not making light of what you saw. Like one time I saw a cloud and it looked like Ganesh, that um, the god. Ganesh D'Souza. The elephant god. The elephant. Oh face sure. God. Right. It looked just like Ganesh. See what that person says. Do you think that's true? No, not necessarily. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't. I would not know. Um, how old is that girl? I don't know. How old are you, baby? She's she's about my age. We're we're yeah. we're similar in age, but. I look a little bit older, but I'm looking younger, and she's starting to look older, so we're going to meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. how old is that girl? That's a woman. She's graduated from college. That mm -hmm. woman, not girl. She's a woman, not a girl. Thank, thank you, pigeon lady. You're, you're a woman. You're a full-on woman, baby. That's right. She's a girl, though, too. Sometimes I'm like, oh. She's a girly woman. She's a woman. She's beautiful. She's not 20. I think the proper term would be woman girl. I think. Oh, look, Bigfoot dude loves us both. Thank you. She's a woman girl. She's a female. Yeah. She's a female woman girl. She's not just a woman. She's a queen. She's the queen. She's the queen of the Bigfoot community. I know she's that. a princess of, um, of vampires. I'm the queen of Bucket the Cat. Yes, Bucket the Cat does 
does like her. She's a princess and a professor. She's an artist. You are an artist. That's because Bucky is like a little prince. And he's like my prince cat son. It's true. My little tiger son. Yeah, these people flirting with you. But Bucket's not even... Bucket's sort of like this, like, lone... Like he's like the lone wolf version of a cat. But he's not because he comes when he's called. If I it's called, true. If I called him right now, he'd come flying over here. He's over there on the boat. Oh, uh, uh, well, we'll let, we'll let him sleep, but... Sometimes he'll sit over there and just look straight at you, and you're just like, all right. Yeah, I am. Yo, come over here. I am getting jelly. A bucket? Yeah. You know, Peter started being kind of, like, silly. Like, when I would be holding Bucket, Peter's like, that's your cat now. Yeah. You know, and I'm like, no, he's your cat, because if you walk out of the room, he's going to follow you. Uh, Bucket's been on the live stream, sure. I don't hold him anymore. <clears throat> it's not something I do anymore. She was holding him about two hours ago. <laughs> you were sitting right here holding him, so... You were in the bath. How did you know that? Uh, you were doing it before then, too. <laughs> and you were doing it yesterday, too. So, I don't care. He's a cat. Sweetie, I don't. I told you I don't. I don't care what she does. He's a cat. Um, I break down. It's bucket. It's okay. I sleep like if if bucket is in the same room and I'm sleeping. Bucket comes up and sleeps right next to me. He's always been like that. Um, he sleeps on my bed. Um, he's always he always did that. He doesn't sleep on 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 the bed anymore, but um, you know. That's for other reasons. We don't like, we don't like, Bucket doesn't have to sleep on the bed anymore. When I was living in the loft, there were no doors. So he'd just sleep on the bed with me, right? If, if I take a nap on the floor watching TV down here, if we're napping on the floor, he, he can come down and do that. But he doesn't need to go in the downstairs bedroom or the upstairs bedroom. He doesn't need to do it. He steps in a litter box. We don't need him on the bed. And the pigeons, too. Remy can still come in the bedroom. I had her in the other night. But, you know, do, I, do we really... Right? Yeah. We, we love Remy. We, lo we love all the animals. Who I doesn't? Mean, you let them stand on your head, so... Yeah, they stand on my head, my shoulder... <laughs> True. They have a lot of uh, room. They don't need to be um, sleeping in a bed every night. And the other thing is this. If Remy is in the same room with you, if it's sunrise, she's going to come up and, like, nuzzle and wake you up. And it's sweet and everything, but I don't want to get up. And Remy actually deals with Ka Katia the like the same way that she deals with me. So I assume that like, she'll do the same thing to you and wake you up. I don't, you know, I don't know. It's, it's, it's sweet, but it's just, um, it's infuriating sometimes. Like you'd be dead asleep. It's 5.30 in the morning, the sun rises and then Remy's doing that. Oh, th thank you, Johnny Bones. Hey, yeah. look, it's Johnny Bones, man. Sweet. Sweet Johnny Bones. That, it, by the way, is a song that Katya was working on earlier. She was doing that, like, Sweet Johnny Bones. Do, 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 do. What, wasn't that the song, or was, am I mistaken? Johnny Bones, you gotta go home. See, you can't stay out all night, you know. Yeah, it kind of goes like that. What a coincidence. Peter, the other thing about... Remy. What? She and Chaga hang out in the hallway. That's together. right. That's right. They are buddy buddy. Yeah, they are. Her and Chaga are best friends, so what's the point? Because uh, Remy does love me still, and I still have to make a lot of contact with her. But yeah. I, Chaga has gotten extremely friendly, and usually you'll see that, like the young pigeon, right at about like when they're at egg laying age, they, they'll, you know, unless they've hooked up with another male pigeon, they'll get real friendly to the human. So she's just hanging around with um, 
another female, um, I, I don't know, she sort of acts like uh, Remy does to me. She's, Chaga's great. Ch Chaga's very friendly. Um, I appreciate that, Johnny Bones. That's why, pro you know, I just find it weird that Katya was singing that song earlier today. Johnny Bones. You ain't, yeah. You ain't got no home. Johnny no, Bones. Johnny what? Bones, you gotta go home. You can't stay That's out all night, you know. Yeah, and I was thinking about getting a banjo, learning how to play the banjo for the Johnny Bones song. Johnny, Johnny Bones. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny you, Bones. You, you, you gotta go home. You can't stay out all night, you know? That's, that's true. You can't. See, Johnny's into it. What's it? I, I want to ask Johnny Bones what he does. What do you do, Johnny Bones? Do you, have, do you have a job? I'm just curious what people do. I know what Anna asked us. Nursy. She's a nursy. What's Johnny Bones do? Do you, do you um... Let's see. I've noticed people typically name parrots after fruit. No, peaches came named peaches. But do they? I had a great parrot named Piggy. Um, I'm trying to find out what Johnny Bones does for a living. Uh, Johnny Bones, yes, yeah, service warranty manager construction in new homes. Oh, interesting. That's cool. I'm not really sure what that in, in involves, but... He's a warranty manager. Right. For, for the construction of new homes. So, like, if something goes wrong, he guarantees that it's going to be replaced, I guess. For the people that bought the warranty. Oh, you're starting pilots training next week? If, 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 listen, if it was 1965... And um, I, I'm, I'm surprised because Katya has been around a, a lot of years. You know, she looks real young. And I, I asked her just recently, I said, in the 60s, were you ever a stewardess? And she said, no. Why not, baby? Didn't you want to be a stewardess? You would have been a great stewardess. When passengers go missing, it's very obvious. Oh, I see. Did, in the 60s, did you ever have like a Priscilla Presley haircut? Did you ever do that? Who are you calling her a gold digger or me? Because we're both broke. So, I don't think that really works. Um, how old is she? She's so pretty. She's so old. Very old. She's so old. She's been around for... She was around in the 60s. When she was in the 60s, she looked like this. And in the 70s, she looked like this. And in the 1830s, she looked like this. I'm a member of the Mile High Club. Don't brag. Really? I got a story about that. My friend, both Paint and Wood Boy. This is a true story. This is what they told me. Was that uh, they were flying on a, on a red, you know, red eye back from California or something, or going through California. And... Um, Milk paint decided to give Mike and in the middle of the plane. So it was, they said it was nighttime. And I, I said, well, come on, man. There were people all around. And they're like, uh, no, no, no. I Do didn't I, see how that would work. Hang on. This is what they did. They said, well, people were sleeping. And it was sort of dark. And this is what they did. There was like a blanket. And so she went under the blanket and, and I'm like, so I got this image in my head of the blanket moving up and down. That's not really, come on, that's not real sly, is it? I mean, like, that's sort of like, look at us, we're doing it on a plane. Is that how you vision how it would work, Katya? I would envision that, like, maybe that's what the guy would be thinking. What? Like, I'll just get the blanket? I mean, Milk Paint told me the story. The guy's thinking, oh, I hope no one can see. Oh, I, I think that if you're a guy, you're just like, oh, my God. What am I going to do? I can't stop her. I have a blanket. Nobody can see. Is that, is that how you see it? 
I kind of see it like it was probably pretty dark and they were pretty confident that why would anyone be looking at them? Everybody knows. Is that true? I would think so. Like, you would be like, man, I think two rows up, there's a guy getting a knob or... Yeah, I guess. Or the other scenario is, I've heard of this, one goes to the bathroom and then the other goes to the bathroom and then they both walk back together. Like, you do it in the bathroom. And let, let me... I, I, I have something to say about this, Katya, that I, I think bathroom, in the bathroom, in any public place, it seems sort of filthy. That is sort of gross. At, at your own bathroom, in your own home, no problem. But in a public bathroom, like in a restaurant or an airplane bathroom, that just seems, I don't know. How do you feel about that? I could see, like, not, not really, but drunk people sort of do things. I don't know. Things are more excusable to drunk people, so. Katya. If it's, if it's like, I don't know, I'm thinking about possible scenarios. Oh, just possible scenarios. I'm trying to think of that, if I've ever done that in the bathroom. I probably have, I don't really remember. Um, I, I, no, I've never done anything like that. I'm, it's disgusting. I, was, I, I used to drink though, so it's sort of like, it could, um. That just reminds me of how my roommate would like, and her boyfriend would, you know, do the dirty in the shower that I shared with her. Oh, right, yeah. That, you know? Right. Like I would just hear clapping in the in the bathroom. Oh, the shower right. would be on. You know, it's like right. the shower's on. Oh, so you mean the, you mean this sound? Yeah, and so like that stuff's on the curtain. It's on the walls. It's it's on the shower handle. Gross. And uh, there's something else that's real bad. And I've I've experienced this, and I think a lot of other people have experienced it. Say you're in a room. You're in college or something like that. And, uh, you know, there's a couple over there. You're trying to sleep. And they're doing it. And they think you can't hear them. Yeah, you can hear them. And it's really uncomfortable. And it's a bummer. Yeah. There's nothing erotic about it. It isn't. It's just sort of like, yes, I'm a virgin. That's right. Um, there's nothing erotic about it. It's just sort of like, did do you have to do that right now? Can't you do that at a different time? Or is it like, well, we're doing it and it's hot for us because that's what I think it is. It's like, um, I know somebody that did it in an elevator and I'm not gonna say who it is. And there was that aspect of it. I'm not going to say who it was, but it wasn't Katya. It was an elevator, and it was like a glass elevator, and the person got talked into it. I got talked... The person got talked into it, I mean. But there was that element of like, oh, maybe we're going to get busted or something like that. I mean, the person... Not me. It just sounded like that. That just sort of slipped out. I didn't mean that it was me. But that's what they told me. So I think that that's what that is about. Like, like, um, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna get, we're, we're sort of busted or we're not busted or danger is our business, something like that. It wasn't me. What, Katya, it wasn't me. She believes me, see? It was. No, it wasn't. It wasn't me. I never did it. I never did anything like that. It's filthy. Some other places, maybe. Their backyard. That reminds couple me of backyards. when my, my roommate, freshman roommate in college, she was getting it on. And I... Here we go. These are the good stories. Thank you. I was in a lofted bed, so I pretended to sleepwalk out of the room because I didn't want to deal with them. Oh, I'm just sleepwalking. Right. What are you like? You're just, you're pretending to sleep. Are you like this? 
Like walking like a mummy? I'm sleepwalking. I sort of like, I stumbled down the ladder to make okay. myself look really clumsy, like I was sleepwalking. Right, like you're so tired. And I sort of just kind of like walked out of the room like nothing was going on. Awesome. Do you think they believed it? Well, the next day my roommate... Did you, hang on, did you look as you were coming down the ladder? No. No. Either would I have. I think as soon as I started moving, they probably were like, <gasps> like, and just like stopped. That's my assumption. The next day, because I went and slept down on the couch, Sweet. I went to class. Right. I came back. I was exhausted. My roommate brought me a muffin. She right. was like, God, I brought you a muffin. And, 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 okay, so she was like saying she was sorry for putting you in that position. But she didn't actually bring it up. Right, she didn't bring it up. Don't bring it up. You don't want it to, nobody wants to talk about this. It happened, we're gonna forget about it. I had a, a in Brooklyn, um, I had this loft, it was on this fourth floor, and it was really, I, I put up the walls, and then we're real thin, no insulation, and then this one roommate I had met this dude, um, and they were they were in there, so like, you could be, in my room and hear like if somebody's reading a magazine you could hear the pages turn and so she met this one dude and just by happenstance they were really loud all the time i was constantly sort of just um you know uncomfortable you know i don't want to hear that like i don't want to hear that and um that was more to the story i probably shouldn't tell We all have dark nights. Yeah, um, uh, there was stuff that I didn't really need to hear and um, know that people really do that kind of stuff. Cause I, I'm sort of white bread. I'm, uh, I, I've, I've always said this, like I'm not very adventurous. I'm just sort of this white bread dude, like vanilla. And they were doing stuff in there that was wrong. Not not wrong for them. It was just wrong for me. I'm not, you could do whatever you want. You're two consenting adults. You can do whatever you want, but I didn't have to hear it. It was it was I don't know. It was wrong. Tell us another story from college. I can continue that story. Oh, please do. They did it again, didn't they? Maybe they wanted you to. They did it a lot. They wanted you to come down and join in. They. Do you think just that that? Hang on. It. Do you think that that's a possibility? No. You don't think that they wanted a menage? No. I would. I think that I they were eighteen. Either. He lost his virginity to her. Oh, at eighteen. The first night they. What kind of tool? Hang on. What kind of tool it is a virgin until they're 18? Is that really true? He was sort of like a... Well, here's the I thing. I agree, pigeon lady. They here's went the about three-way. I was up there. I hadn't fallen asleep. They came back, and they were flirting and doing role-playing. Role-playing? Yeah, Who she does was that? like, I'll be like, the, I'll be like the naughty teacher. Like with my You're glasses. making this up. And he was like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah. And then they started making out for the first time. You know, because when they walked in the room, it was just like, oh, we're friends, you know, we're just friends. And she's like, well, I'll be like a naughty teacher. And he was like, yeah, that sounds great. Who does role play? I'm sorry. I've had a friend that talked about this once, and I'm like, it does not interest me. I would just burst out laughing. And my friend told me that this is the truth, that they went and got costumes and one of his his costume was that of like a NASCAR driver. And I cannot really remember what hers was, but I just remember like, really, you got a NASCAR outfit? Like, and that was your role play? Like, and maybe her, I don't know, maybe she was Cinderella. I don't know. But like, I, I wouldn't be able to keep a straight face. Like, I I don't know. It just seems weird, like, NASCAR, NASCAR. Well, shucks, ma'am, I just won the big race. You're looking good, Cinderella. Oh, you're 
really macho. I don't know what they were doing. I'm just not, I'm just not into, I'm not. Isn't it true that I'm not into role play? Yeah, except- Hey, you don't know, we, she wouldn't know. I never talk about it, I mean. You know what I mean. We, we, um, you know what we like to do on a, on a nice Saturday night is sit around and read the scriptures and watch a good film. A good film, a wholesome film like a Disney film. That's what we like to do. Maybe have a, um, some warm buttermilk or a cool glass of buttermilk. Ken and Little Daddy is more just acting than role play. Yeah, that's, that's not, not that's not us. That that's really you think that we do kitten and little daddy? I hey, I have called her kitten before, I admit to that. But um not like little daddy calls her kitten. That's more like when do I use that? Maybe I'm joking, hey kitten. Oh wait a minute, I did call you kitten the other night, like your little cat, aren't you? That shit. No, no, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not. No, we're not. I'm not really little daddy, and that's not really kitten. But I did call her kitten the other night, and actually, you did say, you mean like kitten and little daddy? And I said, no, just kitten or something. I sort of remember that, yeah. Yeah. Did we clear that up for you all? Kitten and little daddy, they're not they're not real. That's that's acting. <laughs> it is. And but she has called me when we're not acting, she has called me little daddy before. More than Yeah, like tonight. I was like, is little daddy gonna feed Bucky dinner tonight? Yeah, more than maybe fifty times. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, but that doesn't mean that we're playing kitten and little daddy. We're not. Definitely not. Usually, uh, Katya is uh, dressed like this. She's not wearing a costume. Yep. She's dressed normal. Yeah. But I am sort of waiting to see you in your pink jumper, which looks, it's gonna look smashing. Yeah. And there is another uh, costume that's coming that I don't wanna talk about because it would be a, I don't wanna spoil things for your fans, but there is a, another costume coming that is um, spectacular. You know which one I'm talking about? Um, only Discord mods say kitten, though. How's my hernia? My hernia, everything seems fine, and the scars are really tiny just on my stomach, although there's one right underneath my belly button that makes it look like I have two belly buttons, but it's sort of going away. Isn't it sort of going away? Yes, it is. It's sort of blending in, right? Yeah. But when it first happened, it looked like I had two belly buttons. It was arthroscopic, and what, what are you going to do? Someone asked if we're ever going to play Bigfoot Hearts again. I think that's a yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll, we'll break those bad boys out, and um, I, will, I will dance. And now, now that I saw myself dancing as a kid, the hair grow back, yes. And they, interesting enough, they did not shave at all. They just shaved the area that they needed to, like they were doing me a favor, which I thought was sort of weird. Like, wouldn't you just shave it all? But I guess not. Why would you if you don't need to? So, um, yes, it is, it is growing back. My hair grows real fast. That was sort of inappropriate for you to ask that, but since you ask, I, you know, I answered, I responded. Um, but I, I am, uh, uh, I am gonna dance more. I, I think that we, we do need to do more where I'm dancing because I think that I'm a better dancer than Katya. 
I have the moves, and I've had them since I was in first grade, obviously. And I picked up a couple new moves, which is this one, and that's one. That's just part of it. There's more to it. And um, th there's another one where I, I notice I'm grabbing the top of my head like this, and I've never seen anybody else dance like that, so I'm definitely going to do it. That's pretty um, funny. You saw that one? Like, and then I had to stick my tongue out when I'm doing it. It's like, like that. Um, uh, yeah, I, I hope you all watched the new video and saw me dance, because, um, is she taller than you by half an inch? Something like that. Um, okay, an inch. I heard that heavy sigh. How tall are you? Five eight? I five am eight and a half or something? Almost five nine. Oh, see, I'm about five eight. She's about an inch taller than me. Something like that. Um, let's see the foot. I already showed it. Yeah, Katya, when she has boots on, those four inch ones, she looks, I look, I was going to say the D word, but somebody got really upset and then had to tell me later that it, they didn't like it, that I used the D word, which is absurd. Like, do we have to be, like, totally PC? Come on. I was talking about myself. I'm not talking about anybody else. This is ridiculous. Um, oh, you want to see the whole foot? Yeah, we're going to show the whole foot. Katya, do we not have a whole foot that we're going to show? A whole frozen foot? Yeah. We have several yeah. that we can show. The D word. Um, yes, yes, Pachinko. So most people, when they're, so if you're 5'8", does that mean you're almost 5'8"? No, I think I'm 5'8". You're very much 5'8". I think so, but I've, I have a bad hip, and I'm older, so maybe I lost a little bit. Um, I'm just wondering. I think I'm 5'8". That's what I was measured in the military. You're perfect. In the military, that's what they told me. I'm 5'8". Maybe I'm 5'7". I don't know. How, how, how many... How tall is 68 inches? 68 inches? Yeah, watch this. 5'8". Well, there you go. I shut her down, didn't I? Um, yeah, I was in the military. I was in a jetpack corps. I flew jetpacks. Um, it's a long story, but I got drummed out of the jetpack core because I flew into a cumulus cloud and it seeded the cloud and it, it rained on the aircraft carrier and they were trying to have a basketball game and they were pissed off. But I mean, I did them the favor because the basketball went into the ocean. So they said, Kane, get your jetpack, go get the basketball, it's the only one that we have. All the rest of them went into the drink. We need the basketball. So I get the jetpack. I go get the basketball, pick it up in my legs. I go drop it off to them on the ship, and I have a little bit more time left. So I just go, you know, full throttle up into a cumulus cloud. It seeded the cloud, made it rain, and everybody got pissed off because they were having, like, a, a tournament on the, on the ship. True story. As in the military, jetpack corps, M navy, the navy jetpack corps. This believable, right? Because it's true. Yeah. It's very true. See, it's very true. Katya believes me. Um, what advice do you have for any aspiring Bigfoot watcher? Go out in the woods. You're never going to see Bigfoot staying home. Um, that's true. That's like the key advice right there. Yeah, if you want to see Bigfoot and you're asking where do you see it, you have to go out in the woods and if you could find areas where like rusty metal is, they yeah. want to be around rusty metal because they, they lick the rusty metal. They lick it. Mm -hmm. they, they love licking on it like a um, deer licks on a salt lick. They like a rust lick. So like an old... 55 gallon drum in the woods that's rusty bingo you might walk in there and see a sasquatch 
licking it, just licking it. They, they lick it. Right, Katya? She knows. She it knows. is quite, a sight. quite a sight. But they're just licking on it and licking on it. Sasquatch love it. The, yeah. the interesting thing about the Sasquatch is that, like, if you do see them and they open their mouth, a lot of times their tongue will be all rust covered because they, they lick it. They need, they need that extra iron. Mm -hmm. See? She Make said, some salivate. Uh, right, they start drooling for it. And we're not sure what that has to do with, but one thing about the Sasquatch that is very unusual is that, um, that you know, they're magnetic. They have man magnetic parts on the, their hands, their feet, some other areas of their body. And they're, they're very high on iron. They are. It's all true. Yeah. See? She said, yeah. See, they need the iron intake because to maintain their magnetic, you know, they're not perfect. Um, they expend, like, their magnetic energy, so. Oh, really? Need, yeah. Oh. They're it, inefficient, like all human, like, we release heat. They release heat. Right. And magnetism. Right. And, like, they don't really sweat that much, but when they do sweat, you know how we sweat? It's salty. When they sweat, it's, you know, it's sort of rusty. It's, it's they're, they're sweating iron. Mm -hmm. That's why when, when you smell those creatures, they do not smell like a human being. Because when they sweat, mm -hmm. they're sweating iron. Yeah. It's a fact. Yeah. There you go. See, that's that's why every. Uh, what is the most nutritious part of the Bigfoot? Any any of the meat, but you, not. Uh, no mere mortal can just eat Bigfoot meat. Take off my sweater. Well, you. Can go Take away. off my sweater. Take off. What are they talking about? Your sweater? Or their sweater? They what? said take off your sweater. Oh, take off your sweater? That's rude. Yeah, it is. That, rude. That's rude. Thank you. That, good. Um, that's good, Katya. Is that like the second time you've like uh, gotten rid of somebody? Because I like that. If we see anything that's obnoxious like that, we get rid of it. Um... Yes, Anna S. Right, so rude, right? Come on, guy. Ah, uh, you're, you're, you're. I think, I think, I think, I think it's time for some of these children to go to bed. I, I think that it is. And you know, the Bigfoot saliva. I wonder, maybe that's the most nutritious part of the Bigfoot. Really? You never know. There could be some kind of rare amino acid in it or some you know how are we gonna get bigfoot saliva oh we could set up a trap with rusty metal and if, yeah. the, if there were holes drilled when they're licking it yes right yeah and then we could have like a, a bowl under there we could collect some of the saliva and then we could try drinking it and see see how it how it is we can handle it you probably you people can't She's a vampire. She can handle anything. It's true. Um, milk him like a cobra. Uh, like a little swab. Hope you both have a good night. I think we will. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, well, I guess, uh, I guess that's that. I guess this is it for tonight. We just wanted to say hello, and I did want to show the Bigfoot feet and a rusty metal hollow pole. Hmm. What time is this, really? It's probably 11.30. Really? Crank that bad boy out and say, we got to see what time it is. 12.30. Oh, yeah, we're going to sleep. All right, so listen, thank you very much. I appreciate you guys stopping by. We love seeing you. Oh, Johnny Bones. 
You, sir, are a gentleman and a scholar. You are freaking awesome, Johnny Bones. I will remember you, and um, if we if we if we ever have a second baby, we might name it Johnny Bones. Anna S, our third baby. You know what we're gonna name it? If it's a if it's a male, Anna S, and if it's a female, Anna S. You, my dear, are a a credit to the nursing field. You are. That it that is that is one of, wow really pulling out the the night. I'll finish that story about my roommate and that guy. I went to a concert with him a couple years later. Oh, hang on. And they had been broken up for a while. She broke up with him and then regretted it for two years. Oh, I know this story. You told me, I think. I went to a concert with him and he was like, you know, it's really horrible with what me and her did to you in that room. All, all semester. He was bringing year. up sex to you. Yeah, he was like, it was so horrible. I, I have this pit in my stomach about it. Oh, I bet he really does have a pit. But is it in his stomach or in his pocket? He was hitting on you in a real weird kind of, don't you think? You went to a concert with him. Don't you think that he was like, did you all make out? No. No. No, because he was he and uh, my ex roommate had this like traumatic breakup, and I was always like in the middle of it. Oh, uh, so you it was no type of relationship like that. Thank you, Milk Roots. Um, oh, so so right. So there was no way that there was any, anything like that. So you guys went to the concert as friends, and and oh, thank you, Scott Crumb. You're not related to R Crumb, are you? Big fan of R. Crumb. Uh, hang on. Oh, uh, my, uh, the Capitol Hill. Come on, man. That's uh, uh, thoughts on that. Like, it's outrageous, and um, I think that it's time for another impeachment, and I think that they should follow through, and I think that once the Democrats take hold of the House and the Senate that they should impeach him again to make sure, I believe that they can, they can impeach him even when he is not president. Um, I think it's possible. So um, I, I, I think that it was outrageous and um, um, that, that, that's, that's all I can say. I mean, there's, there's not... Um, you know, it's outrageous. It's outrageous. I, you know, I. This last four years was horrible. That's all I can say. Anyway, I don't know. So hang on. Did you finish your story? Yeah, pretty much. And that's it. That's all he said was like, um, I. It's horrible what we did to you. Yeah, pretty much. Did. He didn't, didn't you say like, well, why'd y'all do it? Um, I, I admitted that it was quite bothersome to me. Cause the thing is, like once yes. you let someone push your boundaries and you don't do anything about it, I guess then that you just keep letting them push them. So it was like, after I pretended to sleepwalk out the first night and then I didn't confront her about it, then every time it happened, it sort of like, I would try to sleep and I would just like start sweating and like, I would just get so aggravated, but, like, there was nothing I could do about it at that point because I had already given up. So I would just force myself to fall asleep. And I guess at some point they did it so much that they realized, like, okay, she knows this is going on and we're just doing this and no one's saying anything. What, so, c what can you say, though? I mean, I don't see if, if I was, um, if I had a, if I had a roommate and it was a male, I'd, I'd probably say something, but it, I think it's easier for guys to talk about. Well, I don't know, man. That's just so, it's so obnoxious. Like, can't you just do it when I'm not around? You know? Um, mm -hmm. may, may, okay, I'm gonna admit to it. When I was in college, I think once, um, I probably did that with a roommate in the room but we were real quiet. 
We we were quiet. I'm quiet. I'm real quiet. I was real quiet. Nobody believes me. Um, I'm thinking maybe I did that once. I think what I should have done is I should have the first time I should have said uh, something that really embarrassed them, so that they never wanted to do that ever again. You know, I think I would I let myself be a pushover. But in the end, I have a story to tell, and they have shame, so I could have saved them from a lot of shame, but they would have been embarrassed for a short period of time. What, 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 hang on, what year was this? Was this your freshman year? Yeah. Oh, okay. God, 18-year-old virgin. Was she? No, she wasn't. No, he wasn't. She wasn't, he was. He was, yeah. Because the other thing I heard him say that night... He was like, I was circumcised like a couple months ago. What? What? Who gets circumcised when they're 17 or 18? I mean... And who isn't circumcised? I don't know. A lot of people aren't. That's I guess if you're from a foreign country and you're filthy. It's Isn't like, that sort of gross? Isn't it like Flamunda cheese and all that? I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm not. Some okay. people's parents are like anti-vaxxers. You're better off if your parents are anti-circumcisioners, you know? Are you? Well, yeah, because you're better off than their parents being anti-vaxxers. Oh, okay. Okay. But th this is the truth. I'm not going to say if I'm circumcised or not, okay? But let's just pretend that I am. Hypothetically. I don't think that I would miss that even in the slightest but i'm not saying if i if i am or i'm not i'm just saying that okay i'm circumcised i admit it you know i feel bad for him because it's like i don't miss he... it it seems like he got circumcised before he went to college because he felt like he needed to be hang, hang, hang on, hang on. circumcised. Okay, wait a minute. Skin is more pleasure for the woman? Is that what you're saying? Or for a dude? I mean, no, circumcision has been around for quite some time. So it's not the 21st century. Um, it's less cleaning. Right, there would be like, I don't know. I don't, I don't miss it. Oh yes, for women. Can you find something else to do? To find pleasure? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'm thoughtless when it comes to that, huh? Well, I don't have it, so I don't, you know. Um, Katya's looking down right now. And I'm just thinking like, I wonder if it was traumatic for him getting circumcised as an 18-year-old. Yes. Because then you, like, you know, if that's, like, cosmetic surgery at that point. Yes. You know, like, he's going to college. He wants a new look. Thank you, Pachinko. No, nobody wants a fleshy turtleneck. So, so Pachinko, you're, you're against this, right? You're like, if you had the choice between a guy that was or an unbrother, you would go for... Yeah, sure, it's painful. You would go for the circum circumcised dude. Is that what you're saying? Pachinko? Answer a question. She says nobody wants a fleshy turtleneck. I mean, it's, it's really more common. Uh, cut rocks. What's that mean? Maybe that means she can't decide. Oh. I mean, I, you know, I, I, in this country, it's, it's more, it's more common that people are circumcised than uncircumcised. I mean, this is how it is. Or maybe she's saying cut as in circumcised rocks, as in it's great. Okay. I don't know. She, she likes, likes the... cut ones. She likes cut ones. Okay. Right, because... The cut one is going to be less filthy, correct? 
Being cut is better. Okay. It seems it's it seems like it. I don't know. There's this thing of like, like people that aren't seem to think that um, like it's a ridiculous thing. But I, you know, I was a baby when it was done. Um, I I don't know. I don't miss it. I never even like the thought never even crosses my mind. Like, man, I wish my parents wanted to have done that. I wish I had that that skin. Yeah, you, 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 yeah. You just, you just got banned. Hey, cartwheel video, how you doing? Um, what do you do with the? I think that that's used for medical stuff, if I'm not mistaken. I, I think, I, I think that like when it's done in a hospital, I think that it's used somehow. I could be wrong, but I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Um. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's used for creams. Really? Well, that's that's true. And there was a rash of, like, um, you know, in the Jewish community in Brooklyn of, like, spreading herpes to uh, children. I think that that is bizarre, though, that custom. That they circumcise the baby and then they, like, use their mouth to, like... What? Like, I heard that, and I'm like, really? That, that's what they do? They use their mouth? Well, maybe they shouldn't, because that seems, like, really wrong in a lot of ways. Like, one, uh, cleanliness, and two, uh, it seems like, you know, why are they doing that? You know what I mean? Um, see? It's true, the Bigfoot did not. Yeah. Didn't give me one. Barreled out, barreled out of the woods and pulled my pants down. It wasn't fun. It wasn't. You know, I went to a, I went to a, um, am I gonna say strip club? Yeah, that's what it sounded like you were gonna say. You know, and like, I think that the women, they do something to make their stuff look different you know what what women do the, yeah the katia watches the hang on katia does watch sports uh katia watches soccer female soccer what do you mean what do they do to make their stuff look different? what do you mean i don't know I don't what do you know. mean like they tape tape it up down there or something they probably have some kind of cosmetic surgery they do you know? To make the labia minor and labia major smaller or something? What do you What do you mean? I don't know, but I was there and I was just like, this is different. I've been to a, I was at a strip club once, I admit it, and I didn't notice any strangeness. Um, and I was looking, I did look. I did, I looked, I'm sorry, honey, I looked. It was years ago before we ever met. I had no desire to go to a strip club ever again. If you wanted to go, I would go with you as your chaperone. But we have no desire to do that. What? If we went, then I'd probably say, all right, pretend you don't know me. I'll come and sit next to you. Oh! I'll say, I don't have any money, but I want to pay the stripper. And you'll say, oh, here. Right, that's role play. You want a dollar? You want, like, yeah, that'd be great. So you, you do want to do role play where we go to a strip club and um, I'm the lonely businessman and then you come up and you, you pretend that you are the stripper. No, that's not what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That would be my little fantasy. And then like, um, like you give me a lap dance or something. It's, you know, it's the, it's my role play. I, that's not your. What's your role play again? Let's hear it. I like my mine version. Better. I'm, I'm just out on the town. Right. Maybe I came there with some like one of my girl friends, and I sit next to you because there's an empty seat next to you. Okay. And we're just I'm just there to enjoy the show, and I and you're like, are you get. I was like, oh, I want to pay them, but I don't have any dollars. Oh, and I got. You're like, oh, I, you want I, a dollar? Here's a dollar. 
and then you give me a dollar and then you give me another dollar and another dollar and I just keep and do we do we go home together this is what happens I tell you you asked for a number and I said you can have it only if you can remember it do 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 and I tell you I'm terrible with numbers man that's not fair so then I go through it one at a time like here's the first one here's the second one here's the third one you got that I'll give you 10 minutes to memorize those. Let me get a pen from the bartender. And then we'll move on to the next part. Right. Because I really want you to be able to remember it so that I know that you have a sufficient number memorizing skills. What, is that important? If I'm picking someone up at a strip club, then it is. It wouldn't be important at all. You're just picking them up for random whatever. I know, but if I meet you at a strip club and you ask my number, you're gonna have to remember. Would you want to date some creep that's at the hanging out at the uh, strip club? Would you really give them your number though? Only if they can remember it. That's I would remember it. You'd have to. Give give me give me give me them give me some numbers and I'll show you how good I am at remembering numbers. All right. Um, eleven. Yeah. Okay. Five. Right. Three. Six. Nine one. Eleven five three six nine one. Did I get it right? Yeah. Well, there you go. I guess I win. <laughs> right? That's awesome. I guess I'm going home with this stranger from out of town. It's all right. It's a strange little role play game, but. I could, I could deal with that. And I am a, um, I'm a salesman. I'm a, I, I work in sales. Uh, I, I sell uh, steel products, 55 gallon drums. I sell them that are rusty to Bigfoot researchers. That's what I do. Oh, you're in Bigfoot research? Well, in a roundabout way, I do dabble in Bigfoot research. And I'm actually, I'm president, I'm president of the Bigfoot community. That's what I'm telling everybody in the strip club. Um, you didn't really give out a phone number, did you? No. No, okay, good. Um, who's the chick? Uh, hey, can we see Jupiter the dog? How's he doing? He doesn't live with me, that's a client. Make it rain, baby. That's what I would say. I'd hand you my wallet, and I'd say, make it rain, baby. If you handed me your wallet, then I would definitely oh, thank slip, you. I would slip my number into your wallet. Really? No shit. Totally. <clears throat> what, what, if, um, what, I, what if I had my keys to my Lamborghini, and I, I just, here, here, I'll give you, a, why don't you drive the Lamborghini, and I'll take a cab? It doesn't even make any sense, does it? Let me tell you something. When I went to that strip club, it was the one and only time I went to a strip club. Really? It's the only one? And there was this seat I sat at. There was this, like, cardigan hanging on it. Right. And, uh... Um, it smelled of stank. I took it with me. <laughs> Did you? I incorporated it into my wardrobe. Really? Wow. Klepto. And what, is it a night? Do you own that cardigan to this day? No, I never really liked it. No, you really didn't like it. But I, I guess I thought I needed it. Like that it was left behind and I should take it. Right, and was this in, um, was this in PA? Yeah. Huh, and uh, did you go with an old boyfriend to this thing? No, it was, it was with a group of friends. Right. After we went to this bar called Tequila Cowboy. Right. And then some people were like, we're going to go to Erotica. And I was like. Sure. And my, my roommate, who was the freshman roommate, who was still associated. Right. She was going, and I was sort of her wing girl. Right. Wing woman. Right. So it was me and her and, like, some other guys. And they all wanted to go to Erotica. 
When you were there, did uh, did you get any offers from the uh, management for a job? No. Did you think about it? Like maybe you could do it because you probably could because you got the body for it in the face. They are all like gymnasts, you know. So yeah. Well, what are you? I'm not a gymnast. Well, you're an athlete. I'd be better at like. Kicking a soccer ball around? Honestly, like Tai Chi or something like that. They don't do that. Or like Kung Fu. They don't. Oh, like you get up on stage and instead of doing the pole, you're like doing Kung Fu dancing. <laughs> and you only use that one song. Everybody was fast as lightning, whatever. It I is. know some Kung Fu. Who, who, who does sing that song? Does anybody? Oh, hang on. Katya's going to show us Kung Fu. Yeah. I can see, I, I just saw, I just saw something, but it wasn't Kung Fu. Um, see, when they come at you with a kick or a punch, you like, you go and you like, you block the punch like this, and then you go forward and you hit him in the chest. Terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. That's what you do. Her thighs are strong enough to snap your neck, Peter. Yes, and coconuts. You do, you do have thighs that could snap, snap coconuts, baby. That's a compliment. My, my legs, this is true. I have legs that look like chicken legs. Is it, isn't that right? They're not made to, to kick a soccer ball. They're, they're embarrassing looking. I got them from my father. I have my father's legs. You know how a guy's legs, they're just like, Melon thigh smash. Brick house. That's right. It's a it's a compliment, honey. Um. It is. Coconut. Crab coconuts. I better stop. Every time I ask her, like, could could you actually crack a coconut with your thighs? She could. Well, yeah, I can. Do you really want me to do it? You see, she gets all embarrassed like this, like... Yeah. I don't know. I can't do anything like that. You know, it is... My... It is a compliment. My legs are ridiculous. And my bad leg looks like half the size of my other leg. And I'm working on all that. Another two weeks and then I, I start working out. But I will never have legs that are, um, yeah, they're like toothpicks. You know this. Katya, admit it, my legs look like toothpicks, don't they? Yeah, she, she, she's having trouble saying it, but she knows it. She's like, yeah, they're embarrassing. Are you embarrassed, in the summer, like if I'm wearing shorts, are you gonna be embarrassed to be around me? No, actually, I, I love when you wear shorts. Do, do you think that my legs look funny though? Like they are like toothpicks. No, they don't look funny. I think that your legs are great, just like the rest of you. Yeah, but these aren't, that's not a toothpick, is it? That's not a toothpick. No, it's not. You look the same as when you were... Five. Yeah. I have a, the I have the body of a five-year-old. No, it, it is no. the truth. <laughs> sort of. I look the same, pretty much. Like if we were at the beach right now, and I had some of those, uh, those like I had an orange swimsuit on, and I started running into the waves, I would fall down. <laughs> Pretty much the same. Same wing, yes, exactly. It is. What are you gonna do? <laughs> She's laughing because she, she can see it. Like watch this. I'm running into, I'm running into the ocean, and I get going into the waves, and then I just, I just fall. It's 52 years later, I still do the same thing. You know, I can't even make it out into the deep end. It's just pathetic. It could happen. You were into that, though. You wanted to swim as fast as possible. No, I just wanted to run into the ocean and, um, <laughs> I remember uh, getting salt water up my nose, and it's the worst, like ocean water up your nose. It's not, it's, it's not very, um, 
And it's not likable. And the taste of ocean water, mm. no. I don't like it. Mm. What, what is Tox saying? Probably good night. Oh, okay. We should go good night, too. It is late. Thank you all. Thank you, Anna S. Thank you, Toxic, for, for your help. Um, Riggy. Johnny Bones. Dude. Um, Anna S. I, you know, uh, all you awesome people. Um, Riggy. Pigeon Lady, of course. Pigeon Lady, thank you for your um, your craziness, your, your, your love of pigeons. And, um, uh, you know, this and that and whatnot. And, um, and anyway, I guess good night, everyone. We're going to miss you. We're going to think about you tonight when we're dreaming. Pigeon Lady and, um, and Tim. There's Tim, of course, and that person right there that thinks that I'm their uncle. And Pachinko, of course, Pachinko, out there in Arizona or wherever you are, whatever crazy crap you're doing with your circumcised guy. Um, and Matthew, of course. Yes, Math Matthew, shut, shut, Broham, Milk Roots. Milk Roots, my main man. Yeah, Louisiana gang. And, um, and. You're the best kind of folks we know. Yeah, you are the best kind of folks we know. Um, <laughs> up, up with Bigfoot. Hot and sour soup. I love hot and sour soup. Are you kidding me? Don't be screwing with my head. If more people were like you, if more, more if, people would care. If more people were like you, more people would care. Up, up with Bigfoot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Good night. Uh, li lie, Lee? Lay. Lay. Up, up with Bigfoot. You're the best kind of person we know right there. All of you. We yeah. love you all. And that's about it. Bigfoot. They're the best kind of folks we know. She's getting randy. I'm a Bigfoot. She is getting randy. And uh, so we got to go and... Um, more people were like Bigfoot, then more people would care. There you go. Oh, uh, 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 I was gonna say something in Irish, but you all speak English, so I don't want to show off. Sherman McGorry. This is your dance move, Pete. Uh, yeah, this is my dance move. It's like this. Like, uh, Greece. I learned that from Olivia Newton John. All right, we'll see y'all. Bye. Thank you again. Good night. Good night. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht. Auf Wiedersehen. Uh, Schön Magor.